Dive, Hide a Slide, Door Removal and Refit. This is for the Neff Hide a Slide model B44M42.3GB. Instructions in the Neff manual should be followed. Now the reason I said that is because there are different models of this hide and slide and they're not all exactly the same. Now this is the cheapest model, I've I paid £500 for this model and uh, are, there's more in the range uh, the, and the more expensive ones I've got a different way of taking the door off but the principles are the same, you're, you're basically locking twice. What I'm saying here is that if you don't know, if you can get hold of the manual and have a look at it then that's going to help you to take it apart. And the first thing you need to do is ask the question is why are you taking the door off and is it necessary? So the reasons we've taken the door off are the handle was loose so we needed to tighten that up so uh, we said to the customer yes we'll do that so we stripped it down and we just tightened up the, the backing um, the nut on the bolt and it fixed it but we had a real problem getting it back together now um, and that's one of the reasons why I've, I've done this video because if you don't get the, the, the sequence right you just have real problems working out what you're doing wrong uh, but I've got, a, I've got a feeling that over time that the, the reason you're, you're going to be taken off is so that you can get the dirt in the, in the middle of the glass uh, I think over time that these doors, the inside of these doors, are going to get dirty because it's, it's just got a, like a little thin, thin rubber strip across. And once that gets old or gets worn, then there's more grease that's going to get in that inner door. There are three things you need to know about the Neff hide and slide door when removing and putting it back on. Number one, the door has a spigot that locates into a hinge lock that needs to be open to take the door on and off. There it is. So there we go. I'm, I've got the arrow there. It shows you where the... So that's like a little lock. The, uh, the spigot on the door goes in there and that outer casing needs to turn around so that it's open so you can get the door off. Number two, the door spigot rotates by moving the handle. So the spigot that goes in that slot rotates by moving the handle. And for it to be located properly, so when you put the door back on, you need to ensure that the handle is at 45 degrees to ensure that spigot is lining up properly to go into that slot, into that spigot lock. There we go, I'm showing you here, I'm moving the handle. If you can see right down the bottom of the spigot, you can see it moving at the same time. Number three, the sliding mechanism for the door has to be locked too. So here I am pointing out the, the lock for the sliding mechanism. So that needs to be locked. So step to remove and put the door back on. Step one, remove the side panels on the door. You need a T15 hex torx key to undo them. So that's the key we normally use to take off NEF backing, uh, the, the fan cover on the back of the NEF. So you're going to have it uh, available. And I say here take off the side panels, you can actually do this without taking the side panels off but when I tried it I found it a lot easier if I actually took those side panels off because it enabled me to actually see the, um, the outer bit of the, sp of the spigot lock allowing me to see it and actually move it properly. So here we go, we undo the side plates. Um, I've actually, that's actually got a Leatherman but it's actually got the hex uh, bit adjustment, a bit adapter on the end and you take the two sides off 
and next uh, step number two open the lock for the door spigot by pushing up so as I said once we've got the side panels off we've, we'll be able to see those that the cover of that um, spigot lock and you can push it up push it up like that which means that now the door spigot can come out you push those two up and the next thing is you lock the slider mechanism by turning this, the, the screw away from you. So now the door can be pulled off. Uh, and once you've got it off, you would now strip it down and clean it. It's, it comes apart pretty easily. It's just a, f a couple of clips. Um, and you need to pull the glass off to get it off. The same as uh, a, uh, an, an F oven with the triangle sides you know the uh, the way it comes off you pull on the clips and you all goes back together so if you take it off it's you see that the glass has got a clip on it um, you can take it off you can clean the inside of the of the uh, door the ones I've taken apart it's been very clean inside as I said that the, there is a rubber strip at the back um, so if you are taking it off just to get rid of a run just be careful you don't make it even more dirty or when you're actually trying to clean your, your little bit off you make everything else really dirty right so the way you put the, the door back on you put it back on the runners so you ensure the door is at handle is at 45 degrees so that the spigot in the door will line up with the spigot slot if it's at 45 degrees it should be no problem it will go in and once it's in unlock the side locks by turning them towards you once the side locks have been unlocked now lock the two side door spigot locks by moving them downwards we go we go back to these locks we push them down to lock the spigot in them now check the door to see if it slides properly if it works fine no problem happy days but if it goes clunk the spigots on the door weren't located in properly the sliders fallen off the runners now Here's how to fix it. Take off the door off and put it to one side and look for the slider bar. You'll find it at the back of the slot. So there it is at the back. And it will be, you find the two ends are separate from the bar. So you should find three bits, the bar itself and the two end bits. So get all the bits out and put the two end bits back on the bar and then relocate the bar back onto the track. You have to put it at an angle to get one end on the track and then the other one. Now you are going to attach the slider bar to the locking mechanism on each side. You need to unlock the locking mechanism by turning the lock towards you. So you've got to do this to get the, the two bits to line up. Now locate the slider bar ends into the correct position on both sides. So what you do, you make sure it's free running. You, Because you've unlocked it, you should be able to pull it back. And then you get it in the right slot and now you lock it and if you put it back slightly now, it locks it completely. Do this on both sides and ensure the lock for the door spigot is open. Now put the door back on, repeating the steps as before. Lock the two door, door spigot locks by moving them downwards.
put the side panels back on on both sides. 